please welcome the very funny Miss Julie D. <laughs> So it's good to be back in New York. I love it here because even on my very, very worst day, there's like 98 people on the subway crazier than me. That makes me feel good. There was, uh, there was a naked guy on the subway. I was late for work last week because there's a naked guy, not a guy you want to see naked, but a naked guy on the subway. And we had to wait and the cops show up and you know the cop says to the guy, get dressed. The naked guy gets up and tries to leave. And the cop says, buddy, where do you think you're going? Naked guy says, I'm not getting dressed in front of all these people. <laughs> so again, I'm the sane one on the subway, I like it. But I've been, I've been really busy. I just got done hosting a comedy contest. Yeah, the contest, thank you. It was a big contest. We got so big, we were sponsored by Bud Light. So yeah, I don't have a joke for that, but I thought it was cool, so I wanted to make sure everybody heard heard about that. But I've been I have I've been so busy. I'm writing my own sitcom. Thank you, thank you. It'll be coming out in fall 2019. How I Never Met Your Father. It's my uh, my sitcom. So I've been been busy with that. Uh, I just got a new neighbor, and she's been asking me all these questions like. Um, Where's the grocery store? Where's the post office? Where's the hairdresser? Where is the pet psychic? I'm sorry. Do I look like somebody who knows a hairdresser? <laughs> you know, because I don't, I don't think I do. I, I, whatever I do with my bangs, they do this thing that makes it, makes it look like Hermie, the elf that wanted to be a dentist from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's not, a, it's not a popular look for a woman to have hermy, hermy hair. It's not, really, it's not really a thing. So, but I've been, I've been pretty busy with all that. So, so I'm single. You guys could pretend to be surprised. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, yeah, I'm single. I'm not, I'm just, I'm not good at dating. I'm not, I mean, I've tried online dating. That was just a whole bunch of guys not calling me all at once. I sort of like the old one at a time way better now. But, but when you do online dating, you have to learn this new language, right? Like sometimes when a guy says he's separated, that means, well, my wife's not in the room with me at the moment. <laughs> and sometimes when they describe themselves as athletic, it means I have to be athletic or I wouldn't be able to carry around a beer gut this big, would I? <laughs> So you gotta kind of like know the, know the lingo. But you know, I met a couple of decent, I went, I went out with this one guy, he was from Canada. So I figured, you know, he's from Canada, he probably likes beer, Canadian beer, Molson's, you know. No, I guess he, he didn't, I guess he liked wine instead. Cause he, he said to me, um, so tell me, what's your favorite vintage? And I said, the 70s? And I didn't know, and, and, and he's like, no, 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 no. What is your favorite kind of wine? And I said, oh, I like the pink kind. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the pink kind. I, I, I have like about a half a box in my fridge. I had a few people <laughs> over a couple weeks ago. Good stuff, good stuff. It's, uh, it's still in the fridge, so. Yeah, we don't, we don't really talk anymore, but, but, but that's okay, because I've been really busy. I've been really busy. Um, I, I just got a new job. I've, I, when you do comedy, you tend to have a lot of jobs. My resume was getting so long, it was out of control, so I just scrapped the whole thing, and now it just says I have never been an astronaut. <laughs> so far, that's true, but it's early. You never know. But yeah, I just, um, I just started working part-time at this theater, now, two of my good friends from school, Steve and Bill, have worked at this theater for a long time. Bill just got another job, right? So Steve needed help with a the show they have going on, so I'm there helping him out. Um, and this guy comes over. He says, I've never seen you here before. And I said, oh, I just, I just you know, found out about this job. I, I know Steve. And he's like, oh, you know Steve. Oh, oh. Are you, um, are you a friend of Bill's? Now I said yes, because I thought he met my friend Bill from school, but apparently 
are you a friend of Bill's is a secret code that means, are you an Alcoholics Anonymous? <laughs> Apparently it's not cool to be like, hey Kathy, isn't that Joe from Alcoholics Anonymous? Because you're supposed to be anonymous, right? So they have this secret code. I did not know this. So when he said, are you a friend of Bill? I said, yes. And he said, me too. And then he said, how long have you been sober? And I said, what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you mean. And he goes, what do you mean? Who's your sponsor? So I told him, Bud Light. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's my time. Enjoy the rest of the show.